This is a quick screencast to show something uh, that I thought was pretty cool, and people have showed it to me. I thought it was pretty cool, uh, where you can record audio in the browser uh, via HTML5. So what I'll be showing is the, uh, <clears throat> the rubric module. It's still highly in development. Uh, there's part of it that leads off. It's just like, hey, this isn't done yet. Um, the audio converter module. Uh, which is what you can use to convert uh, file fields from, uh, in this example, wave format to MP3. And the media recorder module, which requires the media module. And you'll see the requirements here, file entity as well, uh, and some JavaScript libraries. Uh, basically, you get a recorder widget that looks like this. You click the button and you can record your voice, which we're going to do here in a second. So once you get that all installed and the server side set up, create a fake submission assessment here. You'll see that, because I'm using Chrome, I get this uh, message asking if I want to allow access to the microphone uh, to the browser itself. So I'll hit allow, and you'll see as I'm talking, it's coming up in a little voice equalizer thing. Uh, so let's create this fake submission here. Submission, and this isn't, as I said, it's highly experimental. Um, so we're just gonna fill out this stuff. So. The idea is that uh, I'm doing a rubric and I want to give audio feedback to the student instead of just textual. Um, now, I have in my terminal window here, I have, I've already got it open to uh, my private files location on my Bigman instance. And so you see I've got two MP3s there at the moment. Show that we will have more audio in a minute. Uh, so what I'm going to do is click record. And now I've got my spoken voice. We have a terribly boring voice, uh, especially for screencasting, but as you can see, students, uh, we can drop the inflection down and uh, read something a little more enjoyable, like the uh, Griffin PowerMate instruction manual. Step two, getting started with PowerMate. Once you've installed the drivers and connected PowerMate to your computer, PowerMate's training is loose. Okay, we're done. So, let's see how big this file is. So we hit the button again, and Done. So let's see what it looks like. That did just do a, a post. You see it saved it. So I did this little recording here, and this very short recording, what was it, uh, 25 seconds, I believe? It doesn't say that until after you skip. Uh, 25 second recording in wave format, because that's what HTML5 is doing, uh, is 4.8 megs, which is not acceptable, quite frankly, <laughs> to give to someone. So uh, this is where audio recorder comes into place, or audio converter, rather. Uh, so when I hit save, it's going to take that file that's in the file field widget, because it is a type of file field upload, and you'll see I get the message converted audio to MP3. Go to terminal, this again, and you'll see that my file that was here at 4.8 megs has been crunched down to uh, the sign of the beast number of minutes. So, not bad for, you know, that was very quick. Uh, conversion. Uh, I've also, I noticed I had to change it from uh, FFmpeg to, there's a newer codec uh, for doing it, it's called Avcon. Um, and so this is what my my audio converter page looks like. The, the commands and issues are the same, it's it's a drop and replacement for FFmpeg. Um, you will need a patch to the audio converter uh, project so that you don't require a bunch of other stuff you don't actually need, and so that uh, folks are invoked correctly to use this. But uh, then you'll see it swaps out the file reference, and we can just hit play here. It's very quiet, so it loud. So uh, I'd say it was a pretty cool module. You can attach it to any entity type because it's a uh, file field type. Uh, so hope you have some cool ideas for you to do this.